This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and welcome to this week's edition of Business in Hawaii. I am Daylan Yanagida and we're broadcasting live from the Think Tech studios in downtown Honolulu. If you want to tune in live, we are live at www.thinktechhawaii.com. You may also subscribe to our programs and get on our mailing list there as well. The theme of Business in Hawaii is to share with you stories of local businesses by local people, and our guests share with us how they were able to build successes in our challenging environment. In the Think Tech studio with us today is Tiffany Yoshida. Tiffany is the interim president of Junior Achievement of Hawaii. Tiffany, I'm super excited to have you here. You know that Junior Achievement is near and dear to my heart. And I'm super excited for you to tell our viewers about Junior Achievement and its presence in Hawaii. So go ahead and start and tell us about Junior Achievement and then the Hawaii chapter of mm -hmm. Junior Achievement. Thank you, Dalen. Thank you for having me. Um, Junior Achievement of Hawaii has an incredible mission, which is to inspire and prepare young people for success in a in, in a global community. And I think through our education and our curriculum, we're teaching kids grades K through 12 about just financial literacy, financial management, and just how to plan for their future in terms of money. And I think it's that much more evident, the importance of this mission, especially now in Hawaii with uh, rising um, cost of living and just every you know the rise in homelessness and everything like that kids are more aware of these issues and being able to equip them in a you know in a proper setting and at least giving them a little more um, tools to, to succeed is is so important and that's what junior achievement of Hawaii hopes to achieve so junior achievement is a national organization a national nonprofit correct, correct. Tell me about their mission. Yeah, so um, they were founded in 1919, and they have a vast network globally. I believe they service over 100 countries, and we've been able to reach like 6 million students wow. in that. So the, ex the extension, the reach, and the scope of this organization is huge, and they're doing amazing things uh, worldwide to just educate kids about you know, financial management. And how does that translate to Hawaii? I think just bringing it here to Hawaii, it was, a, it was founded in 1957, and I know a lot of people who are like my parents' age who remember Junior Achievement when they were in high school. And so it has a very long standing here in Hawaii from teaching kids about financial management, but also through some of the other programs, which we'll get into later, I'm sure, about entrepreneurship and owning local businesses and things like that. Um, I've had the honor of volunteering in a classroom to teach one of the Junior Achievement modules. And coming from the education industry, that curriculum is so amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and they've really employed all of the different ways that kids learn. Um, so it really caters to all the senses and different ways of learning. Tell us about the classroom program. The classroom program is, as you said, the curriculum is amazing. It's so easy to follow as a volunteer just going into the classroom for the first time. And it's so friendly, so we have different curriculum designed for elementary, middle school, and high school students. Everything from learning to become a part of your community, how to contribute as a citizen, all the way up to financial, like finance, and what is credit, what is retirement, and things like that, um, more on the high school level. And the, the kits that the volunteers get have everything from the reading material to the flyers to pass out to even like 
dice and things if there's an activity involved in, in the curriculum. Everything is together, so it's, it's a perfect way of like bringing it, making it more accessible to, to the students and making it fun. There's activities, there are games, it's, it's a good time. Yeah, what I found that was really great about the program mm -hmm. is that you can take a subject matter expert, so someone who is a business owner or a business executive, mm -hmm. and they can pick up this curriculum and they can teach it because it's all prepared for them with all of the visuals, the worksheets, the posters, um, and it makes it that easy to deliver the lesson and then they can impart their personal experience into that. Do you see that a lot? Yes, definitely. And it's like, how do you teach students about credit? How do you teach them to save for retirement? Like, these are foreign ideas. They were, at least for me, even graduating out of college, I didn't really understand a lot of that stuff. So making it accessible and and taking it, putting it into a language that, that students can understand. I think it's a great way of connecting these high level volunteers from banks and other places and bringing them back down to, hey, how, when you were a kid, how would you understand this stuff? So. so as the interim president of Junior Achievement of Hawaii, is Junior Achievement just on Oahu? No, we actually have offices on the Big Island as well as Kauai. So how, how far is your reach? How many students do you affect? In uh, 2017, we reached about 8,000 students. We had uh, volunteers in around 340 classrooms and around 51 schools within, within Hawaii, the state of Hawaii. So how do you get into schools? Are there certain types of schools that are eligible or? We, we go based on requests put in by teachers, but a lot of we have been servicing schools all over the island, especially here in Oahu, um, from Title I to Title VII, all over. Um, it's really based, right now, it's based on student uh, teacher requests mm -hmm. as of right now. And so how do they reach out and Oh, to, to have... To have Junior Achievement come into their classroom. Oh, they can um, contact us by email, or we have a website with an online form that they can, they can request through. And tell me a little bit about how Junior Achievement partners with teachers. I mean, our teachers have the hardest job um, mm -hmm. managing classrooms with a uh, few resources. How does JA partner with the teachers and how do we enhance what they're trying to deliver in their classrooms? Right, so for all of our curriculum, they have a breakdown of the different requirements by the Department of Education that our curriculum fulfills. And um, it's a good way to, the teacher will be usually is, or usually is in the classroom while the volunteers are teaching, but it's a good way to kind of, you know, give the teachers a little breather, have the students working primarily more with the volunteers, and as, as we covered before, the kits have everything, so the teachers don't have to worry about finding additional resources to, to implement these uh, courses. And so, is there a cost to bringing these programs into the classroom? There is no cost to the teachers. JA Hawaii takes care of all of the coordination of those, of those costs, so teachers don't have to worry about any of that. That's fantastic. And mm -hmm. is there a maximum class size? I don't believe so. Nope, we, we service them all. Yeah. So which schools are you in? Uh, we're in a lot of uh, middle schools and high schools. Um, we're all over, all over the place, honestly. Wyanai High School, Rose, Rose of, oh, no, where are we? But yeah, McKinley, uh, Farrington High School, we've been partnering with them a lot for our entrepreneurship program, which we'll talk more about later. And Paul Elementary School, just all over, really. And so you mentioned that there are programs from elementary, middle, and high school. What types of things do you teach to our elementary school children about financial readiness? 
it's for elementary school, it's a little more basic, you know, just making the ideas of money and saving more accessible to them in terms of understanding. So we do a lot of like games and they're still learning these concepts of like money in general, but how do you, what does it mean to save and what, uh, in what ways am I a part of my community? Because kids, they, you know, they see a lot. They're, they're constantly learning. So teaching them about like, different occupations and what does that mean for your future you know but more at an elementary school level more at, a, at an accessible level I think what's neat about junior achievement is that while we're looking to bring financial education to our children it also translates to career readiness mm -hmm. and that's a topic that we've covered in in past shows about the brain drain that happens in Hawaii where kids go away to college and they never come back and getting kids motivated to mm -hmm. contribute um, have successful careers here or be an entrepreneur really serves our state's mission to keep our kids local, keep them home, and have them contributing to our community. What do you, what do you feel about that? I mean, mm -hmm. how does Junior Achievement of Hawaii align to what our goals are as a state? Mm -hmm. Our JA Hawaii definitely, we're in line with, especially Governor Ige's push for a 20 by 25, or 2025, in that we want to get these kids you know through college get an education but keep them here in Hawaii and whether it be s small business owners or or other startups or even just maintaining that talent here in Hawaii um, in that way we're aligning with Governor Ige's plan which is which is really good I think keeping that local talent people who have grown up here, who have seen firsthand just the changes that are going on in our economy and keeping that, that sense of aloha, you know, and, and keeping that cycling through, I think is so important. And J.A. Hoy is helping achieve that, I think. We're going to go to a short break, but when we come back, let's talk about some of the people that are involved in junior achievement um, in Hawaii and how the local community and businesses have been supporting junior achievement. We're going to take that short break. This is Business in Hawaii, and we'll see you back here shortly. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. I'm getting older. Do I need to worry about falling? Yes, you do. Each year, one in four people 65 and older will experience a fall, and many will be serious. The majority of falls happen at home, so remove things that could make you trip and install handrails to keep you steady. To learn more about the steps you can take to help prevent a fall, please talk to your doctor. You can also visit aarpfoundation.org or medicaremadeclear.com slash falls. This message was brought to you by United Healthcare and AARP Foundation. Hello. My name is Stephanie Mock, and I'm one of three hosts of Think Tech Hawaii's Hawaii Food and Farmer series. Our other hosts are Matt Johnson and Pamai Weigert, and we talk to those who are in the fields and behind the scenes of our local food system. We talk to farmers, chefs, restaurateurs, and more to learn more about what goes into sustainable agriculture here in Hawaii. We are on at Thursdays at 4 p.m., and we hope we'll see you next time. Welcome back, this is Business in Hawaii, and today we have Tiffany Oshida, Interim President of Junior Achievement of Hawaii with us. So before we went to break, we were talking about the classrooms and the volunteers that make the classroom program happen. Talk to me about the volunteers. Who are they, where did they come from? Yeah, we have around 300 volunteers um, here at JA Hawaii who have been contributing over 48,000 volunteer hours last year alone. Wow. And they're from all walks of life, from big banks, local banks here in Hawaii, to just uh, homeschool parents and University of Hawaii. We have volunteers from all over the state. And so I do know that some of the major banks, in fact, all of the major banks in Hawaii are 
heavily involved with Junior Achievement in Hawaii, particularly mm -hmm. on the volunteer side. Their employees get into the classrooms and they um, meet with our kids on all levels. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about how Junior Achievement of Hawaii has partnered with these folks in the community to bring those programs? Yes, definitely. So we have uh, volunteers from all the um, a lot of our local banks, so Bank of Hawaii, American Savings Bank, First Hawaiian Bank, and even Central Pacific Bank. And we have uh, volunteers from uh, branch managers to even vice presidents for these banks going into the schools and delivering this curriculum. I, I've seen a couple videos of them, of especially the VPs, like doing presentations for like Kids, elementary school kids, which is awesome. I think we might have a couple of pictures of those classrooms um, where we had uh, some of our volunteers interacting with our kids. We'll see if we can find that. Um, but tell me about how they get involved. Yeah, so a lot of them will contact our coordinator. Um, you can also, if you're, if you're interested in volunteering, you can go to our website. We have a volunteer uh, form that you can fill out, and we would uh, contact you through that as well. So I know that there are some other interesting programs that Junior Achievement does, um, one of which is called Monotank, is that Correct. right? Correct. Yeah. Um, very similar to the television program, right. Shark Tank, right. right? Tell us about that. Yeah, so we have an entrepreneurship program specific to our high school students. Uh, we've been working uh, consistently with a teacher at Farrington High School and his group of students. And you can see the progression from a concept to a business plan all the way to a presentation of their idea and their company. Uh, we have uh, the Monotank event where students will pitch their idea uh, to a bunch of local uh, entrepreneurs here in the islands. And it's a great first experience, I think, for students who are interested in possibly owning their own business someday or going into that startup entrepreneurship environment. So when does this happen? Uh, right now, we're, we're kind of reorganizing the, the whole program, but w we try to deliver it in the fall as well as in the spring. And so is there a coach or a mentor that gets these teams together? Yes, yes, yeah. We'll have uh, mentors um, from our pool of volunteers. Um, and some of our local banks also provide that mentorship and support as well. Uh, and we have our staff who will also contribute to that as well. I know that in um, learning about the past monotanks, um, that there's a, a mentor assigned to each team. And so there may be a team or two from multiple high schools. There's a mentor who is usually a um, business person in our community that goes and coaches the team on their business plan, their marketing plan, mm -hmm. the financial budgeting aspect of their business. And from what I understand, they actually go ahead and either produce the, the right. good mm -hmm. or put out the service for, for public consumption. Is that correct? That is correct. So this is actual, like, real money that is uh, seed money that is being dispersed to these student companies and they will actually purchase the raw goods to produce these things and same thing the same as a real business just keeping track of their expenses and as well as their revenues and getting that first-hand experience it's it's a really great program yes what are some of the examples of the things that the students have done in in those um, think tank tank type uh, businesses? I know one of the, the highlight ones were um, like uh, earphones and they had marketed it towards their school putting in the logo of their school and I heard that was a really big item, a hot item that right. students really wanted. 
I know that the Junior Achievement of Hawaii programs on the neighbor islands also run a separate um, mm -hmm. event, right? Um, a mono tank. I don't know if they call it a mono tank mm -hmm. in Hilo and then in Kauai, but I've seen some products being sold from the Hilo uh, company program that were quite impressive. Mm -hmm. and, and they sell them right around Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, I do know that they went into the shopping malls, the local shopping malls mm -hmm. during the holiday season, which really got the students motivated. Yes. And from what I understand, some of them make some money. real substantial money <laughs> <laughs> which of course is the motivator for them to get interested into entrepreneurship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what are your success stories have you have you had a chance to speak with some of the graduates of junior achievement and oh i have i haven't personally had a chance to speak with them, but everyone I've talked to in the community who have who have participated in this program have only great things to say, fond, like good fond memories about their time. Um, we have a couple of pictures from some of your activities. You want to tell us about them? Let's see. Yeah, so these are some of our volunteers um, there in the elementary school classrooms and. As you can see, like it's a fun environment to learn about money management and you know, it's taking away that scary kind of feeling towards money or whatever it may be and, and making it really accessible and making it, you know, yes. engaging for the students. Nice. And it looks like it's very interactive mm -hmm. and yeah, so they'll have a lot of games. And again, all of these materials are included in the kit that volunteers receive. So there's nothing extra that a teacher would need to purchase, um, as well as for the volunteer. It's all provided. And the instructions are very uh, user-friendly. So How sure. long is a class session? They're usually around 45 minutes. Oh, so yeah, so here's some of our uh, volunteers. Oh, very nice. With the kids. It's yeah. just a great way to connect, connect these, you know, these people who are involved, who are business owners, who are uh, VPs at banks or whatever it may be, and connecting them, you know, back with the community and in a way where, you know, they feel comfortable. It's talking about what they do for a living for the most part. Mm -hmm. you know? So, are the programs just a one-time, forty-five-minute lesson, or are there multiple modules? How does uh, that work? Depending on the the school and the curriculum, we'll have uh, one-time visits for just forty-five minutes to an hour, and other times uh, for more of the high school, more complicated uh, curriculum, it's maybe two or three visits. Nice. But, it, but it's a great way to build that rapport and build that relationship with the students, I think. So the curriculum is designed um, to be 45-minute sessions, multiple sessions. And is, is that the format for every grade level? Uh, for the mo more for the complicated stuff. For more of the elementary school um, curriculum, it's a little more uh, one-stop shop. Kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. And then it, um, when you get these programs into the high schools, do they actually take over classroom time? Yes, yes. They, we are in the classroom. Uh, the coordinator for our volunteers um, is really good and will lay it out exactly what period or what time, the days, and everything. So it's, it's really uh, easy to, it's a, easy to get into kind of volunteer experience. Very nice. Um, so I know that Junior Achievement of Hawaii is looking to build their volunteer base, their mm -hmm. sponsorship base. Tell us what you're looking for. Yeah, we're, we're always looking for organizations to partner with us, whether it be uh, volunteers or, or resources as well. Um, it's, it's a growing uh, concept and we're, we're always looking for people who have who share that same heart and that sh same mission and vision with us and we just hope to continue to extend our, our reach in Hawaii. So for those folks who are interested in volunteering tell me about the time commitment that you need from them. 
what does that look like? Right. It, um, honestly, if you can even just give us a day, we're always open to new volunteers. Once you try it, I, I assure you, the product sells itself. It is a great experience, and you will, I, I think, I, yeah, you will have a, a, a good experience, in my opinion. Um, so I do know that volunteers will get the, the um, curriculum, is it a couple weeks before they go into the classroom? Correct. Yeah, you don't have to go in for training or anything. The kits are that good at explaining exactly what is expected and down to each detail of what to say, how to explain the activities and things like that. The kits are actually mailed directly to your, your place and so you don't have to go in for any long trainings or anything like that. Nice. Yeah. And so they'll get their kits, they can kind of get familiar with mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and then they go into the classroom 45 minutes, and that's, that's fantastic. It. And you've just impacted a whole classroom of students. That's fantastic. Um, I also know that Junior Achievement of Hawaii is looking for some really great community sponsors mm -hmm. for these classrooms. Um, tell us about that. Yeah, we're looking for uh, sponsorship for uh, classrooms. I, find, I think that uh, right now we are receiving sponsorships for a couple uh, select uh, schools here in the islands, but we're always looking for more and your sponsorship will help us to get those kits uh, into the hands of our volunteers and out to, to the, the students. Fantastic. Um, we are just about out of time, but will you tell our viewers how they can get more information about Junior Achievement or get involved if that's their interest level? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you're interested in working with us, uh, you can go to our website at jahawaii.org. Uh, we have uh, forms for you to fill out on online if you're a teacher and want to bring our, our volunteers into your classroom. And we also have a volunteer form. So if you're interested in volunteering with us, then you can fill that out as well, and our coordinator will, will contact you. Uh, you can also learn more about the overall junior achievement uh, program or organization at www.juniorachievement.org. And of course, if our company um, sponsors out there are interested in getting involved, they can contact you as well. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you, Tiffany, for joining Thank us you. today. Um, junior Achievement is one of those things that we really can get passionate about because it's affecting our children and eventually their give back to the community. Um, and I think it's just such a passionate cause. So yes. I appreciate you being here. Um, I wanted to thank the amazing production staff here in the studio. If you would like to be a guest on our show, please email your information to shows at thinktechhawaii.com. Business in Hawaii airs every Thursday at 2 o'clock, and we look forward to seeing you here next week.